What is going on guys, my name is Drake T and welcome back to another Best Possible Squad Builder on this channel. As you can guess by the thumbnail and the title of this video, this is going to be a Best Possible Wales Squad Builder. But, if you have not seen these videos be sure, I would recommend you going watching them on my channel. I've got a few from FIFA 16 by this point and I should have a few on my channel from FIFA 17 so far, a few that I have done. Um, so yeah, if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to go and check them out. Like these kinds of videos so I know you want more. Comment a team maybe that you want me to build in the future. Uh, and subscribe because it really, really does help, guys. But just before we get into it, I know that some players may have informs um, when you're watching this and I've not included them. But at the moment, these are the highest rated players so far out on FIFA. If they come out and, f and stuff and there's a lot more players like certain players get in forms then I will try and revisit the team and do it again but for now let's crack on into this team. In net for Wales today we have the 75 rated non-rare goalkeeper Wayne Hennessy from Crystal Palace. As you can see on his card he has some pretty good stats indeed all round pretty much 70s and then he's got 62 kicking and 50 speed pretty good card for a 75 rated non-rare one could be better but maybe in future he might get an inform if he has got one in, in the future I don't know you guys might know in at the left back position is going to be the 78 rated non-rare gold card Ben Davis from Tottenham as you can see he has a pretty decent card for a non-rare 78 rated card the only stat that be, uh, that is below 70 is in fact his shooting which to be honest isn't that vital on a fullback but as you can see some pretty all round well stats on stats on this card I, I can't even speak today sorry guys i am ill so if i'm misspeaking then please do excuse that um but as we can see looking into the card itself 78 rated pace 73 dribbling 77 defending 71 physical and then 70 passing are his main high stats but like i said stay away from the shooting but overall not a bad card the center back next to him is going to be james collins and as you can see he's got a 76 rated non-rare card on fifa he plays for west ham as you can see and to be honest that 40 pace is really really off-putting but believe it or not, he is only one of two gold centre-backs for Wales. So apart from this guy, you're going to have to go and pick up a silver centre-back if you want to build a best possible Wales squad. Uh, but as you can see, he's got some decent defensive stats, 76 defending, 79 physical, but his pace is a real letdown. The right centre back in this team is going to be Ashley Williams and as you can see he kind of makes up for James Collins weak point, um, that being he's an 83 rated rare gold card for Everton as you can see transferred, from Ever transferred to Everton from Swansea but just looking at some of the stats on this card 70 pace 82 defending and 82 physical make him an absolute beast of a defender honestly this guy looks amazing i haven't used him if you guys have let me know what he's like to play with because he looks like he is amazing in at the right back position is going to be the 72 rated non-rare silver card adam matthews who plays for bristol city not many people really know this guy but the only reason i know this guy is because i did this squad last year and he was the best possible right back back then in FIFA 16. So I do know this guy from last year. But as you can see, he's got some pretty decent stats on a 72 rated card. Such as the AA 78 pace, the 70 dribbling, 70 defending, 70 physical and 69 passing isn't too bad on a 72 rated card. Overall, not the worst stats on a card of his stature and quality. Starting off our midfield trio, we're going to go by putting Joe Ledley in there. As you can see, this is his Movember card. Um, and with a big luscious beard and moustache like that, he was obviously going to get a card like this. But as you can see, this is upgraded card because it is a Movember card. Really, really do like these cards this year. But it's a 76 rated centre mid card. And as you can see, his stats overall aren't too bad. His lowest stat is his shooting, which is 66 and his pace is 67 but apart from that got 70s pretty much for the rest of them when it comes to his physical though he's got 83 which makes him very very a, a very big presence in the center of the pitch moving on to the central of the central midfielders uh, it is in fact Aaron Ramsey this is normal base card normal base rare gold card it's 
84 rated. I do believe it comes out as a centre mid. It may come out as a centre attacking mid. I'm not too sure. But there's some really, really, really nice stats on this card. 69 pace. Just if it was 70, it would look so much better in my eyes. But as you can see, he's not far off getting 70s across the board. He's got 77 shooting, 80 passing, 81 dribbling, 69, 68 sorry, defending and 76 physical. If this guy gets an inform, which it's very likely he will, because Aaron Ramsey I think tends to get informs in the past couple of FIFAs gone by. But as you can see, if he gets an inform, that inform will be all round 70 rate, 70 stats all across the board. Hopefully, let me know if he's got one if you're watching in the future once again another player that could potentially get another inform in the future but at the moment this is joe allen's best card as you can see he's now playing for stoke used to play for liverpool but has transferred to stoke this is inform 81 rated card and as you can see it's just an all-round pretty decent card, no stat below 67, his pace is shooting ball 67, his physical 68, but his dribbling is 82, his defending is 70 and his passing is 78. Makes him a very, very nice card to have in the middle. You've kind of got a bit of everything, you've got really good dribblers, you've got somebody who's good at shooting, you've got a physical presence, you've got a pretty solid midfield altogether. But the striker for this team is in fact Sam Vaux, and as you can see he's a 73 rated silver striker card playing for Burnley in the Premier League, but to be honest his card is not the best. His only stat that really stands out is his physical which is 80. His shooting isn't too bad at 72, but the rest of his stats could do with a lot, a lot of work if he's your only striker up top. So that's not the best, hopefully he gets an inform, hopefully he gets an upgrade maybe to make him a bit better because literally he is the only decent striker for Wales. But moving on to the players that kind of make up for Sam Volk's weak points, moving on to the left as you can see it's going to be legend Ryan Giggs and as we can see the 89 rated left midfielder, legend card as, as expected, 90 pace. 88 dribbling, 78 shooting, he's got 87 passing and then his physical's not the best at 67, he's defending, we're not even going to speak about that, but as a legend card, very very much so deserved, if anything he should probably be a higher rating, um, not just saying that because I am a fan of Manchester United, but I do believe that honestly he's one of the best Premier League players, if not the best Premier League player ever potentially is that is that debatable maybe some people will say Thierry Henry but Ryan Giggs did it consistently for so many years and yeah love Ryan Giggs but the man to finish up the team is Wales number one man at the moment and as we can see it's Gareth Bale this is 91 rated first in form card I'm definitely definitely sure that Gareth Bale will get more cards in the future so if you are watching this and this in form is outdated he could potentially even have a striker card at this uh, when you're watching this, but as of making this video for me, Gareth Bale's highest rated card is his 91 rated right mid card. And as we can see, he's got 95 pace, he's got 89 shooting, he's got 87 passing, he's got 88 dribbling and 78 physical are his main stats. To be honest, his 60 defending is not too bad either. If you don't know, Gareth Bale did actually start out as a left back so potentially there's there's hope there that maybe you know he could get someday an all round 80 rated card on all stats maybe not maybe maybe that's impossible but that is the best possible Wales team as of recording this video I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to like it be sure to subscribe for more get your team down below thank you for watching and see you in a bit guys